Hey folks, the AFV Club IDF video build coming up. Hi all, Darren here. Uh, welcome back to all the subscribers and uh, welcome to all the new folks. Uh, if you are new, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button up top and the notification bell. Uh, so that you are notified as we move forward in this video build uh, and you're notified of the new episodes as they come out. Real quick history on the video build. If you recall back during the SU-34, the Kitty Hawk SU-34 uh, inbox review, I had asked for the viewers to put in the comments which aircraft they wanted to see built as the first uh, video build. And that would have been the Edward. Uh, special Edition Striking Eagles F-15 or the actual SU-34 by Kitty Hawk that I was reviewing at the time. Well, I took the comments and out of all of them it was about 50-50 mix on which one should be built. Uh, so I was mulling that over and while at the uh, Virginia shootout up in Roanoke, Virginia, I came across a kit that really looked interesting to me and that was the uh, indigenous defense fighter uh, for the Republic of China Air Force by FE Club. Really looks like an interesting kit. Uh, so I called an audible, if you recall, and said that I was going to do that one as the first video build. Um, so before we even get started, I want to throw out there, yes, it's the IDF F-FK-1D. And that's going to get some jokes, I'm sure. Uh, it does look funny. I don't know what they were thinking when they, they did that, uh, but it is what it is. So what I thought I would do is, the first thing is give a real quick inbox review. I did a, a quick search of YouTube. Uh, I didn't really see any inbox reviews of this kit. Um, so I thought that we would start there. Uh, not a long one. I'm going to try and keep this relatively quick, and then we will go through the instructions and we'll see what we've got in store for us for the video build and then as we progress through it will be step one will be episode one and so forth until we get through the end of the build. So that said uh, let's carry on and the first thing is going to be the box art itself. Notice that uh, here's that name again F-CK-1 Delta. So it is a Delta version. Uh, the Alpha version which was the first uh, produced uh, back in 1989, took its first flight in 1989, was actually designed to replace the aging F-104s and F-5 fleet for Taiwan. Uh, so it's gone through uh, three or four different variants, uh, now up to the Delta. Uh, the actual box art itself is what caught my eye at first, uh, being that it's an actual painting. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, it's not a picture of the kit itself, but really a striking painting. Uh, rolling over to the side, uh, there's some pictures of the finished kit, uh, the side view, top view, and the rear. Um, looks a little plain here. I think with some proper uh, weathering and detailing, that this could really, really pop. Uh, and we'll look at some of the uh, panels and stuff here during the kit review and, and see what the actual detail, surface detail, is actually looking like. Uh, flipping over to the other side, uh, really interesting to uh, put that nose on shot and the little triangle there in the middle and with those two intakes staring at you in the F-16 nose you can see where it looks really really odd um, gonna be really cool to build and there's a little decal sheet there uh, showing the decals of it so that's the box so let's go ahead and break it open and let's see what all we have in here um, Lots of sprues now. I, I'm full disclosure. I did open this one here earlier. Uh, I took some pictures, which you're going to see roll through here in just a second. Of some parts in the detailing, and I don't want to go through every tree. I don't think that we need to do that. Uh, I think you're going to get a good idea just off of a couple. And again, I'm trying to keep this video here relatively short uh, as the intro to our build. So that said, uh, this is the first sprue that I want to talk about and this is the actual nose section and I'm going to set this off to the side here 
the nose section is uh, in. I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer uh, so you can see here. This nose section is two piece and the detailing is quite nice. Uh, and, you know, cue the pictures are going to come in now. So you'll see that the panel engravings are really, really sharp and crisp. But looking a little bit closer, they almost look like they might be overscaled. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, there's a texture here that's kind of funny in some spots, too. It's a little rough. Uh, nothing that I think a 3000 grit to me a sand and sponge can't knock down, but it does feel just a little rough. Um, the detail is great. Here again, it just looks like it might be just a little bit, um, just a little bit overscaled. We'll see. We'll see how that goes together. I don't see any flash at all on these pieces, which is nice. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about here is the fuselage halves uh, in here again. I've opened this bag up already. Uh, don't shoot me, but I wanted to get the pictures. I think the pictures show or speak a thousand words. And you're going to see the level of rivet detail is actually very nice. There's a lot, a lot of rivet detail. Uh, here again, I don't see hardly any flash uh, whatsoever on these parts. I'll get this up here a little bit closer so you can see in the video too. I think the pictures really show well. Um, looks good. I don't see any injection pin marks on these pieces. Um, it looks, I don't see any warpage. It just looks like a really nice, well, there's some of that rough feeling here too. So just, other than a rough plastic, I'm not really seeing much um, to complain about here. We'll see. So all all your flashes on the back side here, these pieces are going to have to come off. Uh, doesn't look like that's going to be too hard to clean up. There are some ejection pin marks on the wing surface here. Depending on how that mates up, that might need to be sanded down. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Nothing more than just simple preparation. Uh, and it should be all good. So there's uh, several other sprues. Uh, well, I'll show you here just real quick in the bags. Um, quite a bit here. Uh, fuel tanks, weapons. It looks like we got some uh, sidewinders. Uh, we might have some AMRAM on there. Uh, fuel tanks. A couple different cockpit pieces or canopy pieces. The tail all in uh, one shot now. And this one here, I am going to go ahead and open this one up because I do see for the first time. A little bit of flash. I want to get a little bit closer look at that. So bear with me. Nose cones off. That needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Not a big deal. Uh, this aft turtle back area here does look like there might be a little bit of flash there. You see behind my finger. Not too bad. Not not too bad though. Not a big deal. That'll that'll clean off fairly easily. Um, a little bit on the tail. I do like that the flaps are uh, separate. The leading edge flaps, trailing edge flaps. So that looks like we're going to be able to pose those. Uh, the surface detail on these pieces are just as good as the upper and lower fuselage pieces. Still don't see at this point any injection pin marks on exposed surfaces which is quite nice I don't see any sinking these feel smoother quite nice another place to look for these ejection pin marks is here inside these wheel well or wheel doors I almost always find those Huskawa was, was famous for that and I don't see any none so impressed there uh, a couple more sprues we have here, just motors, easy stuff there. Not a lot of sprues, a lot more in that SU-34. Uh, cockpit, these are the cockpit pieces. Let's open that one up to take a look. I did a quick view through the instructions, which I'll show you here in just a second. And those 
uh, show that most of the cockpit instrumentation is going to be done with decals. So, interesting to see. It looks like the seat is going to be just very minimalistic. Oh, no. No, actually, the side detail is quite nice. I don't know if you can see that real well. Let me see if I can't get this a little bit closer here for you just lay a retina on. But that's actually quite nice. Uh, the DDIs are quite nice. So, uh, the instrument panels. Actually, this is, this is really, really, I'm really impressed. I like it a lot. So, there's our cockpit pieces. Uh, clear pieces. Let's take a look at our clear. Looking through, I noticed a while ago, and I am going to open this one as well. I can't really tell through the plastic. But unlike other manufacturers, it seems like they've got this right. And I don't see... Oh, that's really nice. The detail is nice. The canopy frames are really sharp. Let me see if I can't get that better focus for you. I know it's clear. But the one thing that I noticed, there is no line down the middle to polish out. Huh. Really nice. No visible sign, no raised bump, no nothing. Very, very nice piece of clear plastic. The detail work on the can on the uh, cockpit pieces here is impressive. I mean, uh, if you can see that with these DDIs back here, the the level of detail on those is really, really nice. So, all right, impressed there. Uh, let's break into the instructions real quick. Um, I'll zoom this back out so we can get the whole book in. I'll go through just real quick. Um, so same artwork a lot of Chinese it's going to go into show us a little bit of the history of the uh, indigenous defense fighter uh, talking about its um, history talks about the variants just a little bit the one alpha the one B into the one D and some of its weapon capability followed up over here second page Again, more talk about the uh, TC2, the AIM-9s, more about the weaponry. Uh, our color call out, now this is kind of nice to see. They have gone with guns, Gunsy, Humbrel, Ravel, and Life Color here. And it's called them out in all, different, uh, all the different types. Uh, we have a little key up here for the illustrations. Uh, optional remove so on and so forth that's nice uh, and they get into applying decals now yeah. uh, following into step one here this is going to be our cockpit and as I stated before it looks like down here in the bottom uh, we're going to have some decal work to do uh, you know I, I like the level of detail the one thing I don't like is the fact that and less power supply on the aircraft, and I've said this in the past, uh, these DDIs are not going to be lit up, and I wish they would give us the option of a green uh, decal to put in their place uh, for DDIs off, uh, digital display indicators or uh, HIs, however you want to, depend on which branch you're in or service you're, we're in, depends on what you call them, but um, other than that, this is going to be a really nice cockpit, very well appointed, it looks like it's got a lot of detail, um, and that's going to be our, our next episode. And it goes into two, and that's putting the front fuselage halves together. Uh, that looks pretty straightforward. Uh, step three here, uh, looks like we're putting together some racks for missiles, and into step four, finishing up the cockpit installation with the glare shields, and into our ejection seats. Uh, the ejection seats will probably leave for last. I like to put those in after... Uh, the aircraft is painted, so that way I can uh, get the cockpit all done up the canopy. Uh, into step six, looking at preparing our wing sections, uh, some more weapons, uh, pylons going in, and putting our motors together. Uh, tells us where we need to screw out the holes here for our, our pylons and stations, so that's very nice. 
intakes okay so it does seem like there's going to be a seam for the intake uh depending on what it looks like once we get in there we'll see how how bad the sanding is going to be to try and smooth that out uh, they're actually even showing that over here on step 11 at the bottom you can see where the seams are in that illustration um, so 10's putting the wings together 11 our speed brakes and then our flaps uh, as well uh, 12 few slides halves together finishing up some of the uh, detail work on 13 moving into our landing gear for 14 and 15 over here okay so two-piece wheels again I'm not a fan of the two-piece wheels but we can make it work um, we'll attack that when we get to it we'll see how how that looks Again, a lot of little detail in here uh, with these lights and uh, landing gear, door actuators, so on and so forth. So a lot of chance here to really uh, do some good, good detailing work. Uh, into our station, or our fuel stations, pylons. Oh, you know what I wanted to check here. Let's go back. Yep. So the nose is calling out two grams of weight in the nose. Uh, We'll balance that out when we get to it and, uh, and see just how bad it is whenever it comes that time. But two grams is what it's called for. Uh, so back to the weapons, fuel tanks, uh, missiles, a bunch of different options here. And it's even given us a canopy. We're getting to the canopy here side side opening canopy that's that's interesting and then now this is really interesting i've never seen this before in a kit but they actually have the remove before flight tag in the instructions so that's something to think about when it comes to a contest because it's within the kit instructions and typically remove before flight tags will take you out of the out of box category not in this instance huh. so it takes us the color call outs and this one's really interesting with the tiger sh tiger mouth on it blue and white tail nice uh, paint scheme next one so I'm looking at all these and I'm thinking that the one with the tiger's mouth on it is right now probably my favorite and that's going to be my pick but what I'm going to do is I'll take pictures of these. I'll put them on the end of the video. And uh, let's let the majority rule. Um, it looks like it's going to be A, the 7th Tactical Fighter Group. B, 3rd Tactical Fighter Group. Another B, 7th Tactical Fighter Group. D, 3rd. E, 28 Tactical. F first tactical and then it's getting into the top and bottom here so those are going to be our choices okay so we got here and I'll here again I'm gonna put pictures y'all look at the pictures and we'll label them a B C D E so on and so forth and in the comments below uh, the majority wins and that's the scheme we will do so and those are instructions like I said the top and the bottom and this is going to be the same for all variants so paints pretty much straightforward it looks like it's going to be all decal work speaking of decals that's next I have not opened these up let's go ahead and slice them open and take a look so we've got a little photo etch in here as well Yep, some photo etched parts. I saw that in the instructions. Those are for some side panels. Um, that's nice. There's our poly caps we'll need. Here is the red remove before flight material for the tags. That's a nice addition. Our decals. So let's see here. 
they're very bright and it said that these are cardigal uh, decals if I'm not mistaken let's see here cartograph yep cartograph decal so uh, enough said there uh, what I do like is down here on the bottom which you're not going to be able to see very well unfortunately because they're white but uh, they have given us the actual Chinese writing for the remove before flight tags that's very cool a very thin uh, as you would expect with cartograph and uh, not much carrier film I expect these are going to be really really nice markings so I'm really looking forward to that uh, keep those protected so there you have it that's the kit uh, it really looks like it's going to be a fun build it has a lot of potential I think to turn into a, a, a really really good looking airplane uh, I'm looking forward to it we will uh, start the next episode we'll, we'll start episode 2 will be the actual cockpit and what we'll do is just progress through the instructions and uh, get to the end of it so that said as we go through and you see these videos please leave a comment below if if there's something you want to add to the build or maybe something you would have done differently uh, hey constructive criticism is is absolutely allowed um, if there's something you would have done different I, I want to know about it I mean help me I want to learn from you as uh, as much as I can so uh, I look forward to it I look forward to the interaction and until next time hey man let's all be good to each other Good night.